Buenos dias. What a beautiful home. So we are here in, it looks like Worcester, but my mom's from Massachusetts and she's like, don't say Worcester. It's Worcester or something. I don't know how you say it, but that's where we are, Massachusetts. About an hour west of Boston, flew in last night from Texas. Uh, we are here to visit J.R. Vinagro. Big old site contractor, they're out of Providence, Rhode Island, but they have a big job about 15 minutes down the road, moving a lot of dirt for some kind of commercial development. I'm not a whole lot sure what the details are, which is why we're headed there right now. So we're gonna go there, probably see their yard in Providence, Rhode Island, and then head over and finish the day in New York to see Patillo tomorrow. So it should be a pretty good day. Big iron, a lot of fun. Jared Vinagro, they have a crazy amount of cool stuff. So we're bound to see something cool today. Let's go watch dirt. four-story building it's just shy of a hundred acre site so the site is disproportionately bigger than you'd usually have for the size footprint because it's it's servicing a bigger overall square footage so so the site's huge considering the footprint um, yeah a lot of grade and there's there's topsoil and and cut to fill there's about a million and a half yards we're gonna move out here what was kind of unique here was how fast they wanted the building ready we needed to have a third of the building done in six weeks. In reality, in eight weeks, we had to have the whole building graded. As you explained over there in the job trailer, this is right behind us, the building pad for the very large building they're putting together here. The priority was getting the pad done. So the pad's done, they're working on the footings and the foundation of the building right now. And now that the, that the pad's complete, they have to do the rest of the earthwork surrounding the pad. So over here they have a 6015, a 395. They're in a tight area, so they have to top load. It's not ideal, but you just gotta do what you gotta do to phase the project accordingly. They're peeling all of this down to the building pad elevation, uh, loading in the articulated trucks, big old excavators, a little bit of rock right there, but it looks like pretty good material. The 6015 uh, came in, I think, last July or August. Uh, we sent the Waltham Mass where we did a big rock cut. It has a larger bucket than usual. It's got an 11.2 yard bucket on it, which honestly, it could use a little bigger bucket if, in certain situations. It's, it's got, it's balanced, got plenty of, plenty of ass to it, you know, and it's definitely earning its keep, you know. It moves a lot of, I can do, pushing 10,000 yards a day by myself with it.
So with site development projects, it's not just about dirt, it's about rock as well. Typically, what you used to do, or if you have a site that's just dirt, you have to import all of your rock. So this will be the foundation. This will be the, the base material that your building essentially sits on in simple terms. So you need, you need to get this somehow. Typically, like I said, they'll truck it in, which is really, really expensive. But ideally, you'll have a project like this one with rock on site that needs to be moved. So not only do you drill and shoot the rock to move it out of the way to build whatever you're building, but you can take all of that rock, throw it through a crushing spread and screening spread, and make all of the material you need right on site, which saves a lot of money in the development process. So JR Vinagro, they have a, a crushing and screening setup on site here to make all the material they need, just like this stuff right here. All right, all set here. JR Vinagro, big old commercial site in Massachusetts. Now we're gonna head to Providence, Rhode Island to go check out their yard, which is supposed to be quite the treat. So stay tuned, we're gonna go drive for about an hour and we'll see you on the other side. What? All right, so we are out here outside of Providence, Rhode Island, at Jared Vernagro's recycling processing yard. This place is supposed to be just enormous. We just got here, so we haven't seen it yet. Right when you come in, there's these piles, enormous piles of firewood. They do over 2,000 cords a year. They clear, they do a lot of land clearing. They'll take the timber from the cleared projects, they'll haul it here. They'll put it through this machine, which cuts it and then splits it automatically into firewood. Runs it through that little trommel setup to get all the little bits off. And then the nice clean firewood pops out the end here. Way faster than using an ax. I don't think I've ever seen this much firewood. This is another one of their wood yards. They bring in all of the brush, stumps, everything that's not the good wood from their land clearing operation to here. They'll sort through it with the excavator, stump shear, cut the big stumps off, get rid of the rocks and dirt, and then they'll throw it through a processing uh, machine that shreds it. So it takes all of this uh, organic matter from their land clearing, shreds it into mulch like this. This is the fine product, and this is the really nice nutrient dent mulch that landscaping operations and people will buy for their homes, landscaping, to keep their, their trees and bushes nice and happy. So everything they do here is about recycling, everything. Everything's recycled. So it's, all right, we're gonna clear land for a new building, but all of that wood, all of that organic matter, that's all recycled. That's all turned into usable products. That's all a renewable resource. So this looks like a pile of junk behind me, but it turns into this really nice, good mulch that goes on and provides life for additional organic matter, trees, that kind of thing down the road. Super, super cool. It's not just cutting trees down. There's thought behind it. We just finished up here, Jair Vinagro, their recycling facility. We saw what they do with all the wood, the firewood, the mulch. We saw concrete recycling, asphalt recycling, their C&D construction debris recycling facility. Just about everything here. They pull in from demolition sites, they pull in from other contractors, job sites from around the state and outside of the state, and they recycle it, 
repurpose the material. Really, I could spend all day here. So a lot of fun, a lot of a lot to see, but we got to get on down the road, head to New York. So thanks for tuning in on this one. Maybe we'll have some bonus content for you. I don't know, but that might be it. It's a new wind powered. That's the truck that does all the equipment. Yeah, so, so here, here we are. My hard hat's right here. Here we are. Original 988. And then, thanks to the magic of editing, here is a 988F. Not even the latest generation. But you can see, I would say it's substantially larger. Yeah. So yeah. this is a uh, yard loader configuration. So it's got the more beefier tires. Yeah. So it's even a little bigger than normal.